I'm Katie, vegan food blogger at littlemissmeatfree.co.uk, where great food always comes first. Follow my journey into creating delicious, healthy dishes to enjoy every day of the week. Hello, if you've ever wondered what's inside my fridge, here's your chance to have a good look. So I've got a Grenier Ion Technology fridge, it keeps everything really, really fresh for longer. So, here we go, let's have a look. So I have lots and lots of um, vegetables in this bottom jar here. I love my green vegetables, spinach, kale, they're great in smoothies, great way to have vegetables. Um, lots and lots of other things, carrots, sugar snap peas, peppers, sweet potatoes, you name it, it's usually in there. I love my vegetables, as you know. And the next one, I have always have an abundance of avocados. Guilty pleasure, I uh, use them probably every day in salads and guacamole, absolutely fantastic. Um, also have lots and lots of fresh herbs. I have some on my window ledge in the kitchen as well, but I keep some fresh, usually some dill and some mint, um, lots of parsley. And I always have lots of fresh tomatoes as well for making pasta sauces, so um, versatile. So my fruit shelf is another one that's always full of fruit, um, so I have plenty of it. Um, always have lots of lemons, use them every day. Um, and I also keep a little pot here with a lemon that's already been cut up. Um, so I can just pop it into a, a drink of hot water or cold water during the day, so it's really convenient. Um, so that's always full, there's plenty in there, berries, anything, anything I want I come and get, it's great for smoothies. So next one up, um, I tend to have, so uh, I've got a, a nice crumble that I'm going to have later that I made yesterday, that's always good. And I've got some organic chia seed um, breakfast ready, that, that's for tomorrow morning, so I'm looking forward to that, that's soaking there ready. Um, and up here, oh, I always have some non-dairy margarine, I only use it for baking, um, but it's, it's really convenient to have around. Uh, Sun-dried tomatoes and harissa are good staples, um, and always some chutney to do a bit of dipping. And so coming on to um, this door here, um, so I always have lots of um, different types of non-dairy milk. Um, Oh, today I've got um, almond milk, it's always unsweetened, I've tried to avoid the sugar in that. Um, coconut milk and general soy milk. I tend to use soy milk for baking and for cups of tea, but I tend to use the others for smoothies and drinks throughout the day. Um, I've got some Provermel um, soy yoghurt, this is my favourite one because it's got no sugar in. So they're often really, really hidden within non-dairy um, yoghurt, so that's really, really handy. I often keep some um, non-dairy cream in, again it's Provermel soy cream. Handy for putting on fruit. Um, I've also got some coconut water which is delicious in smoothies, really hydrating, great for a hangover. Um, coconut oil, I'm a massive fan, I use it in cooking, um, I use it in smoothies, I use it whenever I can. Actually I use it to make that crumble topping, it's fantastic. Use it in the place of margarine where I can, it's nice and natural, it's so healthy. Um, tahini, sesame seed paste, again make a lot of hummus so that's always good. And then I have a selection of nut butters which I snack on. Um, I've got cashew nut butter, almond butter and my absolute favourite, peanut butter. And this one from Suma is fantastic. It's not got any um, added salt in it, so that's brilliant, it's fantastic. And just at the top here, uh, keep lots of fresh garlic in. It's wonderful for cooking. Um, I have some, some curry paste that I just keep um, in to make a quick curry, usually my 15 minute chickpea and spinach curry. It's really, really convenient. Um, a red Thai curry paste, great for soups, gives a bit of spice and some delicious jam. So you've had a good nosy inside my fridge. Um, it's really, really easy to find, it's usually in supermarkets. So there we are, that's it. <laughs>